Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, thank you for have I mean uh, have conducting this interview uh, with me. Uh, I've been in profession. I think it's almost about twenty five years. Okay. So I that's started. Quite yeah, that's quite long. Uh, I started my career as an auditor with Arthur Anderson. That was in nineteen ninety three. And after that, uh, I worked in a public listed company, you know, for about a few years as a, a accounts manager, the group accounts manager. And after certain years in the industry, I went into academy. Uh, I was in University of Malaya for quite a number of years. After I finished my PhD and I resumed teaching. Uh, and. I think my last position was a director of business school in Mr. Malaya. Then uh, I decided to come back to the industry where uh, I work as, I mean, I joined MIE as a deputy CEO. And after that, I was uh, appointed as a CEO in 2016 up till now. So all in all, I've been in the accounting profession for about 25 years. And uh, over those years, I've gained a lot of experience. Uh, I've been on the uh, Malaysian Accounting Standard Board for five years as a board member. I've also, uh, you know, served as a governor for the Institute of Internal Auditors, and as well as council member of Malaysia Institute of Certified Public Accountant uh, prior to joining MIE. So I would say that, uh, you know, the council profession has been, you know, in my blood, and it brings out passion, and I love this profession. I see. You you have a very overwhelming experience. You know, <laughs> we have external, we have internal as well, and you also have academic background. Yes, I do. Oh. I think uh, those years uh, when I was in university, mm -hmm. uh, we always talk about how do you start your career. And uh, I received a lot of advice back then, but I started my career in auditing. In auditing, uh, I get to learn so many things, not only on the accounting department and of financial statement preparation uh, as well as applying all the auditing techniques but I also learned a lot about uh, business processes mm -hmm. so I think you know those four five years that I spent in audit firm gave me a holistic information and knowledge about the role of accounting and auditing in any business organization so that actually was a very good start. And after that, I joined public listed companies and I was involved throughout the listing of that, uh, you know, uh, Sandra and Berhad to become a public listed company. Okay. It's a group actually with various types of uh, businesses. So uh, this is where, uh, if for the benefit of the future accountants, mm -hmm. So, if you look at any accounting department, they probably involve in uh, documenting or involve in processing data on economic activity mm -hmm. and they have to interpret those data in financial statement and help business decision maker. So, but uh, auditors, you know, especially those who serve or provide the service of external audit or statutory audit, they bring, uh, you know, assurance to the financial statement and they help to, to, to enhance the integrity of financial statement by carrying out the independent audit on the financial statements prepared by the accountants or the accounting department. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so the role, you know, between accountants and auditors, they complement each other, they help enhance the information on uh, financial statements and uh, that will give more integrity and trust on the output of the business that help decision makers. So, you know, this is the whole ecosystem by itself. So if you look at any uh, organization, 
which use you know the financial statements to make decision and the production of the financial information it is through the ecosystem itself so this is where you can see the interactions the connections between the accounts department uh, as well as all the business units and you also have the internal audit who actually look at the integrity of the processes and the internal controls mm -hmm. as well as the risk. So it's all about the ecosystem. So you have an accounting department or finance department that you call it and the external auditors, you know, that brings the independent audit opinion and also the internal auditors that looks after the risk and controls and the operas, uh, operational efficiency. Mm -hmm. So all in all, the quality of financial statements very much you know, depending on the uh, ecosystem, as well as the governance, who actually uh, they are the tone at the top. Mm. Okay, so uh, first, uh, when we talk about auditing profession, mm. uh, we always look at the firms themselves. Mm -hmm. So the firms where, you know, of auditors, uh, they carry out not only audit services, they also carry out a lot of other services mm -hmm. such, such as assurance. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, but a lot of attention is given uh, towards the service of external audit. Yeah, external yeah, audit. Yes. And those firms that are well known, such as the big four, like uh, PwC, EY, Deloitte and KPMG, apart from providing the external audit services, they also provide a lot of, of a range of all other services. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Especially, you know, what we call uh, great upon procedures, mm -hmm. uh, IT yes. assurance mm -hmm. and tax and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So that the, is... The in, assurance Yes, services. that's important to understand, mm -hmm. you know. So in MIA, we have uh, almost more than 1,400 registered firms. Okay. Uh, okay, and they range in sizes, you know, the big ones, the large ones, and the small ones. So, uh, and on the other hand, you have to look at the clients that they audit. Yeah. Okay. So, any probably young accountants who wish to, uh, you know, add more knowledge and pursue their career and get good in accounting, if they start with firms that have good clients, mm -hmm they will learn a lot in terms mm -hmm. of, you know, the process, the systems, as well as the uh, quality of financial statements. Mm -hmm. And they will learn a lot as well in terms of the, how the, the businesses, you mm -hmm. know, uh, handles the finances. And this experience and knowledge, I think, would be a, a very big value to the young accountants or accountants-to-be in navigating their career forward. Oh, yes. okay. So, but of course, um, there is a lot of perception that if you work in accounting firms or uh, and audit firms, mm -hmm. uh, you will be you will have uh, a lot of uh, probably responsibilities and you will have late nights and whatnot. Oh, yes. <laughs> but this is interesting. Uh, when I was small, you know, if I can really remember uh, a Malay proverb that says bersusah susah dahulu bersenang senang kemudian you know mm -hmm. you it's okay to go through a bit of hardships when you are young and you have the energy mm -hmm. but the most important thing is for you to learn mm -hmm. and later on the knowledge will help you to grow higher in your you know uh, to, to go to a greater height mm -hmm. and and that's at the end of the day it is important to motivate the young generation.